Hello. Good afternoon, Michael Wynn, Chief Digital Officer of Digital Ops, a division of RB Oppenheim Associates. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Happy Friday. Uh, we are taking a break for from the uh, book review on the book Traction this week and next week, or, or just this week, excuse me. Um, my my co Heart in Crime, uh, reviewing that book. Katie Lilly is uh, with her daughter at a volleyball tournament. Uh, good luck uh, to her as they enjoy that. Um, so today I wanna talk about really four cornerstones of building a digital empire and why understanding the landscape of the social web today and how, how that impacts the success or failure of your business for the future. So, you know, when, when I think about it, you know, I, I wanna I want to focus on four things. I think first of all and foremost, the, the most important thing that you need to understand when you're trying to build a digital empire is understand number one, that, that you are the king of the empire. And so um, your DNA matters. And embracing your DNA is number one, is the first cornerstone to understand because who you are, what your passions are, are going to be a, a vital piece of the shape and, and momentum behind the digital empire. So that's just one part of it. And I think the more that we understand that and the more that we are 100% okay with our authentic self, um, the better we, we really can, um, you know, embrace our DNA and who we are, um, you know, and not trying to pretend that we're someone else. Um, you know, for me, obviously, you know, uh, growing up in uh, Houston, Texas, I came from a long line of teachers. Um, you know, my great grandfather was a teacher, um, my grandfather was a teacher, my dad was a teacher, my mom's a teacher, grandmother's a teacher. I mean, I come from a very long line of teachers. So of course, I do video podcast and, and, and content that center around practical, tactical advice, literally teaching the internet on how to grow your, your business. Of course I would do that. It's in my DNA. This is not some, uh, you know, ploy to, um, you know, try to trick people into something. It's just who I am. It's just what I do. So for you, who are you? Who are your passions? What are, what are your passions? And, and are you, um, you know, creating an outlet for that within the social web. I think that's that's the most important thing. And understand that that's one of your unique value propositions is no one else is you. There's just one. Um, number two is explain your story. You know, as a society, we are absolutely addicted to narratives and characters as evidenced by how much time we spend binge watching on Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime and and uh, you know all the different platforms that are available to us. We absolutely love reality TV. We love the characters. We love to hate them. We love to love them. So um, you know the more that you understand that and that you begin to explain your story. Um, again, the more unique your content becomes. So, you know, for me, as I was growing up in Houston, um, you know, I can remember times where the, the thing that I enjoyed the most, uh, you know, as a, as a young teen would be to uh, go to Astro World. And it was a challenge because, you know, during the summer months when my parents were both working, uh, you know, a couple of buddies and I would want to go to Astro World, which was literally probably 30, 40 minutes away. And so we came up with a way to ride the public transit system for like two bucks. We would ride across town, literally spend about two and a half hours on bus rides to get from our neighborhood to Astroworld and go have, you know, we, we would we would find these coupons in the papers and, you know, for like, I think it was like 19 bucks, you could get a pass for all day at Astroworld. Um, you know, which for, for those of you who are not familiar, um, you know, it's kind of like, uh, 
it will be similar to uh, like Orlando, um, um, you know, Epic uh, um, Rides, Wild Adventures, or uh, Adventure Islands. You know, it's roller coasters, games, and, and things of that nature. Um, and so that was something that we would do. And so again, it makes you know, it makes sense that um, I am compelled to find affordable solutions for my clients to achieve with, with what they want to do. I've always been about finding, um, you know, different methods, different ways, untraditional ways, um, you know, to accomplish things. So of course that makes sense. That's part of my story. That's part of who I am. Uh, and so it makes sense that it, it would be what I do for, for clients. It's just, there's no difference. So uh, number three, um, is to go really, really deep. And what I mean by this here is, you know, we really have to stop trying to be everything to everyone. Um, you know, I, I, I often say that, you know, our BS meters as a society are absolutely on high alert. We can tell very quickly uh, when someone is trying to scam us. I mean, because, because people try to scam us so often um, you know, I think that it's really sort of amped up our, our meter to understand that. So, you know, understand that, that that's the case and then, and then sort of take that and go the opposite and go super granular into your craft. So, I mean, get like super nerdy on, you know, whatever techniques or, or tactics, you know, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, brewing beer or whether you're, you know, building and, and replacing roofs, you know, like go super deep, super granular on your craft, because at the end of the day, this is, this is a great quote that I came across recently. It's better to have a thousand views and a hundred comments than 10,000 views and one comment, right? So, I mean, that's talking about you know, really identifying with your target audience compared to trying to speak to this large, you know, masses that you're not really connecting with. Um, you know, that, so that's the difference to go really, really deep. Like surface, surface stuff is for posers. Um, for those of you who know that that term means, uh, you know, uh, mid eighties uh, surfer and uh, skate punk reference. Um, and number four is to understand that everyone is a brand. So if, if, if you have a job, maybe if you don't have a job, but if you have a job and you're on social media and you post, you're a brand. You are. And, and your identity online and the things that you post, uh, especially if you do work for a company, they reflect on that company, good or bad. Um, and so for businesses who understand that that is the world we live in and it's not going to change, it's only going to continue to evolve as the social mobile web internet continues to mature, um, you know, you're going to, you're going to need to understand that, that everyone has a personal brand and having a company that embraces that and who cultivates that, um, you know, is, is really positioning themselves to be able to really put a stake in the ground and continue momentum in building their digital empire. So again, um, you know, I want to go back over those four things. Number one, embrace your DNA, who you are, what you're passionate about, be 100% authentic. Number two, explain your story, right? Tell your narrative, the backstory, what you're doing on the day-to-day, um, you know, in a story format that people will join along with you. Number three, go really, really deep. Dive deep in. Don't try to uh, float on the surface. And number four, understand that everyone is a brand. Those are the four cornerstones to building a digital empire. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in this Friday. Um, I had a great week. I hope you did too. Uh, tune in on Monday as we continue to uh, talk about and discuss digital marketing tactics for to grow your business in 2019. My name is Michael Wynn. I am the Chief Digital Officer of Digital Ops. Have yourself a great weekend.